saving a landmark here in Cincinnati. Today, City Council made a decision that will not only celebrate the city's musical past, but also build a musical future. WLWT News 5's Richard Childs is live for us tonight from Evanston. Hi, Richard. Cherie, good evening. The address itself, 1640 Brewster, is not necessarily one that stands out. And the building, in fact, is unassuming and in complete disrepair. But if you talk to folks about the cultural legacy of this building, they say the heritage cannot be denied. Today, the city of Cincinnati took steps in monitoring and preserving that important heritage. And I think it's an essential element of our city's history. Um, and I think it's holy space. In a unanimous vote, Cincinnati City yeah. Council designated the King Records Studio and Plant as a historical landmark. The designation is a step supporters say will protect the building in what many call the legacy of sacred space. We've got great, great things that are going to happen with the King Record Building. Looking at the property today, supporters are encouraged by the historical designation. The historical designation is a statement to that, that this is and has been recognized by the community itself as some place that is historic and necessary for the preservation of the culture of this area. Opponents say a look inside the property, however, shows a building in decay and disrepair. My client purchased the building in 2009 as part of an assemblage to support his larger ownership that now is occupied by Dynamic Industries and that someday in the not too distant future will be entirely redeveloped. For now, the designation blocks Dynamic Industries from tearing down 1540 Brewster Avenue. Otis Williams, who recorded at King, says the city's not standing in the way of development, but building a bridge between the past and an emerging future. The city of Cincinnati should understand this is their legacy. Well overdue, I want it to happen for them. Now ensuring that this legacy exists for a next generation. Talking to Mr. Williams, who recorded here, you get a sense of the history that exists here at this property. Right now, there is pending legislation, or le excuse me, litigation, which stands in front of this building moving forward. But coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll hear from supporters with their plans for what should happen with this amazing King facility. Reporting live from Evanston, Richard Childs, WLWT News 5. All right, Richard, look forward to seeing that a bit later.